What's going on, everyone? Welcome back to the show. So one of the most common things that you hear from lawmakers when it comes to reforming Social Security is you hear them talk about raising the full retirement age, raising it to 69 or to 70. So I want to debunk this whole notion that raising the full retirement age is not a cut to Social Security. So we're going to focus on that. I'm going to show you guys the details and I have an illustration to show you guys that will hopefully uh, get you to understand that this would be a major cut to Social Security if they raise that full retirement age to 69 or 70. So that's what we're going to focus on in this video. But first off, you guys can do me a favor. Please like the video, subscribe to the channel, hit that little bell notification and then click all by clicking all you'll get notified anytime we post a video. We do daily videos here. So by clicking the bell notification, and clicking all you should be getting updated every day. And just a reminder, thank you for your support. I really appreciate it. And if you'd like to follow me on Twitter and threads, you can at the TEC show live. Okay, so I'm gonna show you guys this illustration, but before we even get into that, I wanna, I wanna just talk about this really quickly. When it comes to raising the full retirement age, that is a cut to Social Security and it will not reform Social Security. So we're looking at a situation where you can raise that full retirement age, but it's not going to be enough and we're still going to be looking at this issue when it comes to the trust fund in 10 years. It's not going to do much when it comes to reforming Social Security. So you're going to have to do other things. You need to bring in more revenue in order to reform Social Security. So when you hear lawmakers say, yes, I, you know, it's on the table, let's raise the full retirement age, that is not going to be enough. And all it's going to do is it's going to mean that people who want to retire at 66 or 67 are going to probably have to delay that until they're 70 because they need that additional income coming in from Social Security in order to retire. Okay, let me show you guys this illustration here and we're gonna talk a little bit about this and I think it's important because this should put all this talk about Social Security, raising that full retirement age is not a cut. This should put that to rest. So first off, the first thing that I wanna look at is the life expectancy, because I think that's very important. And so the current life expectancy is 79.11 years, okay? So just say 79 years is the life expectancy in 2023. Now, that is, what are they saying? There's an increase from so there's a 0.08 percent increase from 2022 all right so 2022 it was 79.05 years and then they show in 2022 that was a slight increase 0.08 percent increase from 2021 and we know in 2020 we actually saw it go the opposite direction okay and that was mainly due to to the pandemic or at least that's what they're saying it was due to now Let's, uh, let's take a look. I want to take a look at some other information here. The majority of Americans are strongly opposed to raising the full retirement age from Social Security, a move that's been suggested by senators on Capitol Hill. A Quinnipiac University poll found that 78%, this is huge, 78% of the American people are against hiking the full retirement age to 70, while nearly seven out of 10 people are concerned about simply having enough saved for retirement. Okay, so there's a problem when you have lawmakers that are coming out and saying, and we, we I've heard a lot of lawmakers say this, raise the full retirement age. Anytime they're asked this question, and uh, it generally, let, let, let's, let's put it on the table, generally, Republicans are the ones that are talking about raising the full retirement age. Although, they're, you know, you could have some Democrats that are out there that are entertaining that, or they might use that as kind of a bargaining tool. Okay, we'll let Republicans raise that full retirement age if we can do this. So, you know, it's kind of, you know, it's a mixed bag. But the vast majority of Republicans that talk about reforming Social Security, their plan and their only plan right now, at least the only plan that they're expressing, is raising that full retirement age to 69 or 70. Although 78% of the American people say, no, we're not okay with you raising the full retirement age. But lawmakers who are supposed to represent the American people are saying, no, we wanna raise the full retirement age to 70, we, we have to do that. Okay, so 
when we're looking at this, and I, I, I just, you know, I wanted to put a, put together just this uh, illustration just to kind of show you what's going on when it comes to raising a full retirement age. So let's say you have Bob here, okay? And this is a clone of Bob. So right here, Bob, we know he's going to live until 79. Okay? He's going to live to the the average life expectancy. And so if he collects social security, his full retirement at 67, he's going to get benefits in this amount. Okay. So we don't have a number there, but I just wanted to show you kind of a bar so you can understand what I'm saying here. So from 67 to 79, he's going to be able to collect social security benefits as well as his retirement, whatever else he has a setup. Now, let's say they move that full retirement age to 70. So now, Bob, we know he's going to live to 79, but he's only going to be able to collect benefits from 70 until 79. So for nine years, he'll be able to collect benefits. So in the first example, he'll be able to collect benefits for 12 years. The second example, he's only going to be able to collect benefits for nine years. And so you see that's three years of benefits that he won't be able to collect. And let's just say on average, it's about $22,000 that he's receiving every year just in social security benefits. And so when we do the math there, what is that $66,000 that he is going to miss out on if he only lives until 79, okay? So that is the cut that we're talking about. That is the major cut to social security. Now, this is just an example that I'm showing you here. The commissioner, the social security commissioner uh, indicates that if we were to see a raise to the full retirement age for every year that you raise that full retirement age, it's going to be about a 7% cut in your social security benefits. So overall, and that's, that's huge. That's a big deal. And when we hear the talk right now of the trust fund running out of money, what are they saying? In 10 years, the trust fund will run completely out and will only be able to, uh, social security benefits will only be funded by the payroll tax, okay? The 6.2% that, that people who are working right now, they're paying into, as well as the employer is matching that 6.2%. So you have 12.4% that's going to the social security administration. That money is what they're using to pay benefits, as well as they're taking some money from the trust fund because the payroll tax is not enough right now. And so that's why they have to take money from the trust fund. And so if the trust fund completely runs out of money in 10 years, we're looking at about a cut of 23%. However, if Republicans have their way, Okay, some Republicans, not all, but if Republicans have their way that the Republicans that want to raise the full retirement age to 70, if they have their way, then guess what? That's a cut of 21%. And so it's going to be 21% if they raise the full retirement age to 70 or, and I'll say, and, or 23% if we just let the trust fund go for 10 years and, and, you know, and completely uh, depletes. And so the reason that I'm saying and or is because don't be fooled. You're going to have some lawmakers saying, you know what? We're going to reform Social Security, and this is how we're going to do it. We're going to raise a full retirement age to 70, and they're not going to do anything else. They're not going to pull in any more revenue. They're not going to raise the payroll tax. They're not going to uh, raise the cap on people making 160200 or more. So they're not going to do any of that. They're just going to raise that full retirement age, and that's not going to be enough. It might prolong the trust fund. So let's say the trust fund gets an extra five years. So now in 15 years, the trust fund will run out of money and we'll be looking at that same 23% or even more cut in benefits. But since they raised the full retirement age up, you saw that 21% cut. So you see a 21% cut and then five years or you know 15 years total down the road, you're looking at another 23% cut. So you see how this is just not going to work and it's going to be worse for people if they really move forward with raising the full retirement age. What they need to do, 
And I've been talking about this and I will continue to talk about this because it's the truth. They need to bring in a revenue stream. The only real way they're going to bring in a revenue stream is raising taxes. That's it. Lawmakers don't like to talk about raising taxes, but in this situation, that is the reality. The payroll tax across the board, they're gonna either have to raise that or they're gonna have to raise the cap on people making 160,200 or more. That's the bottom line, okay? So, you know, you, you, if you hear lawmakers saying other things, oh no, we can do this, we can privatize social security, we can do all this, it's not going to work. They need to bring in more revenue for the social security administration so they can pay out the current benefits. That's the only way that it's gonna work. And I stated this before, I think the vast majority of the American people who are working right now and paying into the payroll tax would be okay if you raised it 1% or 2%. They would be okay with that because they would know that they'll be able to collect their full social security benefits. Because if you, if you pose this question to them, they've been paying, let's just say someone is 50 years old right now, or you know, let, let's, let's do it this way. Let's say they're 57 years old right now. They've been working their whole life. They've been paying into social security their whole life. And then we tell them in 10 years, when they're set to retire, they're going to, if, if nothing, ha if they don't do anything when it comes to social security, they're going to see 23% cut in their social security benefits. If we tell that person who's 57 right now has been paying in social security their whole life that, you know what? You're gonna have to take a 23% cut. Most people at 57 and even younger are gonna say, you know what? Why not raise it 1% or raise it 2%? I want that full 100% when I retire. I don't wanna take that cut of 23%. I'm okay with you raising my taxes for that purpose because the money will come back to me. But lawmakers don't wanna do it. They don't wanna talk about that. What they're talking about is that same person that's 57 right now, they might have to retire at 70. They might have to wait an additional three years to retire. That's what lawmakers are talking about. Instead, they should be talking about investing, okay? And it, you, can, you can even call it that. Like You're talking about it as raising taxes. You, you, you know that word, raising taxes, is, is, you know, is poison when it comes to lawmakers. But you can look at it this way. It's an investment in their retirement future. That's what it is. Raising it 1% or raising it 2% is an investment in their retirement future. So I wanna know what you guys think about this, so let me know down below. If you like this video, please give me a thumbs up. Please subscribe for more, and I'll talk to you in the next one. Bye.